hey, it's a beautiful evening here in Ocean City. Praise God. And, uh, you know, God is a good God. He, he loves us. Loves us so much he thought we were worth dying for. And, um, you know, when we look at uh, this sand sculpture, I just think, I look at the dolphins. I love nature and God's creation. And, you know, the dolphins know who their Lord is. And everything God made here, this big wave machine, we call it the ocean. He gave us that to play in and this little sandbox and all for our enjoyment. But all the animals that God made, you know, they know who their creator is. They know who's at the center of it all. Humans, we're a bit of a mess. You know, sometimes they say, hey, you're acting like an animal. And I think, good grief, we're insulting the animals. You know, horses don't get drunk and lay in their own vomit. But humans, oh, we're, we find ways to mess ourselves up. And you know, the amazing thing about our Creator, He never stopped loving us. And He's reaching out to us. We've turned our backs on Him and kind of flipped them off. And God's never stopped reaching out to us because He loves us. And you know, part of our problem is God says that in disconnecting from Him, we've chased after other things that just leave us empty. And we're trying to find fulfillment. It's like a, a thirsty man drinking salt water. You're gonna be thirstier and eventually die. And God's saying, you know, I have the way to quench your thirst. I have exactly what you need. And what you need is you don't need to be at the center of your own life. See, if I'm living for me and my little agenda, it's a little life and it ends in a bad place. And God's trying to rescue me from that path because the whole culture around me and the boardwalk and the businesses and all say it's about you and buy the next thing and that'll make you happy and, and, and chase the next pursuit and that'll make you happy. And God says, listen, I want to fulfill you in a way that nothing else can. I want to satisfy the thirst of your soul. But you know, you got to put those things down and turn to me. And dude, just a, you know, do a turnaround. Living for Jesus. You know, a couple hundred years ago, I think we found out that the earth was not at the center of the solar system, you know, that the sun was. And Jesus Christ, the Son of God, He's at the center of it all. And He's calling us to say, listen, turn to me, come to me, and you'll find out what life is really about. And that happens through putting our faith in Jesus. Jesus said, whoever hears my word and believes Him who sent me has eternal life. He will never be condemned. He has crossed over from death to life. But we have the choice. You know, God loves us, but He can't force us to love Him back. Love does not work that way. You can't compel or coerce people to love. And so God reaches out, but we have to decide, am I going to put my trust in Jesus Christ? Am I going to receive His love and forgiveness? Over there on that sand sculpture, it says, one died for all. Jesus Christ died for the sins of all humanity. Every one of us has flipped God off in some way. And we deserve God's judgment. See, God loves us, but if He gave me what I deserve, if He gave you what you deserve, we're sunk. But God let the hammer of His justice fall on His own Son instead of us. And so as Jesus died, He said, Father, forgive these people, punish me instead. And so God in love punished His Son for the lies and the disgusting things and self-centered things I've done for no sin of His own. So He died for all, that through Him all could have life. And so what an amazing God, what an amazing gift. And He wants us to receive this gift. A gift can't be earned, only received freely by faith in Jesus Christ. God loves you. I hope you'll say yes to Him and love Him back.